Buster's back in town. Yeah, I get my hold down equipment over here, Buster. Don't be filming me now, Buster. All right, not much going on today. I'm gonna to work out, I'm gonna throw. We'll do some command stuff, so I'll show you some of that. Walk you through uh, how I'm tracking it and what I'm up to. So, give you some info on that stuff. And the lights, the lights should be on here by the end of the day or tomorrow. So we can see some of this custom lighting, changing colors, it's gonna be great. You guys are working on finishing it up right now. Okay, so this is what we got today, 30. Three sets of 10, going fastball cutter, fastball change, alternating through those. Gonna hit fastballs here, cutters there, fastballs there, change up there. And we're gonna see how many. The goal is 70%, which would be 21 for 30, which is gonna be tough, because these targets are still a little bit small for my capability right now, but that's what we're going for. Fastball. One for one. Cutter. Fastball. Change up. Two for four. Fastball. Cutter. Fastball. Change up. Fastball. Cutter. Four for ten. Well, we ended up. Four for 10, six for 10, and four for 10. So that's, what is that, 18 for 30? No, 14 for 30, so just under 50%. A couple close misses, a couple bad misses, but overall pretty decent session. So I'm gonna keep track of that all off season. I'll show you guys in a, in a future vlog how I'm keeping track of that. It's pretty cool, I'm excited to share it with you. Um, but yeah, got that done. Now we're gonna get into the lift for the day max acceleration, so just move heavy weight as fast as possible. So many of you have seen my vlog about my struggles with eating and dieting and stuff like that. Uber Eats issues and cooking and Airbnbs and the whole deal. So I have found a solution. And that solution is a company called Organic Chef To Go. It's a, I, I know them as Kale Food Services. It's Organic Chef To Go, I guess, is the parent company. and. What they do is they take my meal plan that my dietitian puts together. Um, they'll create a meal plan for you if you want, but uh, I have a meal plan that was developed via blood work and stuff like that. So they put, they take that meal plan and they talk to me about my dietary restrictions and likes and dislikes and stuff like that. And then they send me food like this in a bag uh, six days a week. So I have five meals in there. I have my little meal plan over here on the on the paper that shows like what I'm eating for each meal. And then I get high quality organic food at the right times. It's delivered to my doorstep every day. And it's a very nice solution. It's an elegant solution. And I'm a fan because the meals are delicious. So I've now solved that problem, which feels, makes me feel accomplished, I, sh I, s I think I'll say. Because uh, I don't have to cook and I can eat well and quality food and yeah, it's an elegant solution. So shout out to them So Don't believe everything you see in the vlog So I've stole the Buster's vlog camera once again So I can show you the true story of what happens here <laughs> what, are we, what are we showing? Well, what we're going to show is me on a tool search 
to see if I can find the tools I need to do the work that I was going to do for you. So every time I come back down here, I have to go searching for tools because tools around this facility tend to like migrate. What I'm looking for in particular is the spare blades for this guy right here so I can cut some mats. We'll see if we can get these mats cut this weekend here. We got the, here's where I finished cutting the last time. And then those that haven't been cut yet. And those go up behind all this stuff. Back through here and back into the corner. And hopefully by the end of the weekend, all these ones that are all uncut back here will be cut. And that part of the mat job will be done. Can't get them all perfect. So I got a little gap here on this one. Don't know why, maybe the way I measured it and where I cut it. This one's pretty darn close. But, well, it's on to the next one. And by the time all this trash gets thrown over here again, I mean, equipment, it won't uh, show anyway. Oh! Buster, where are we off to? I don't know. Uh, we're off to uh, the James Bond movie, Buster. That's right. In and, the uh, Valley something or another theater. We're going to finally go see the James Bond movie. That's Hurry up, Buster. You're going to make me miss my movie. Don't give me that. You've been <laughs> plowing, dashing around, crying for how long. Now you turn on that camera and decide you're going to say that it's me that's lollygagging when I've been trying to chase you out the door for a half hour. If he's not careful, I'm gonna lock if him in there. Longer, so I just got out of James Bond. Obviously couldn't take the camera in because they don't let cameras in movie theaters, but what'd you think, Buster? Well, it was a little different than the James Bond I'm used to seeing. A little bit slower paced, a little bit more of a love story. I liked it, but not quite the James Bond movie I'm used to going seeing. Yeah, you're not used to seeing James Bond be in love and walk away from the role, so that was definitely different. Uh, I was encouraged by the end of the title credits, James Bond will return. So that was good to see. It'll be interesting to see where they take it from here. I thought it was a good movie overall. Yeah. Uh, it was very enjoyable to watch. Different than James Bond, and I guess it'll be a while before we really know kind of how we feel about it as time goes along, right? Some movies get better as time goes along, some just kind of fade away. So Some age well, yes. Yeah, <laughs> like, like Skyfall aged extremely well. <laughs> Probably my favorite Bond movie. Who knows how this one will age, but uh, it was a good movie overall. Long, I'm glad they gave us a good treat. Yeah, but. lengthwise, as you know, you got you got some bang for your buck. Yeah, it was good, but it wasn't excellent. Yeah. Yep, enjoyable for a night for sure. Wouldn't rate it as the top Bond movie ever, but it was good. Coming along, coming along. We got the uh, <clears throat> dumbbell rack yeah. on the wall. Got machines, bars, everything in the proper place. Okay, so today is a full plyometric day, full cycle plyometrics. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of uh, creating energy, 
accepting it and rebounding it out. Uh, plyo pull-ups, plyo push-ups, depth drops, jumps, stuff like that. So this is uh, this is basically what you do on uh, on the mound. You create energy. You load it into the front leg. It stops it, redirects it. You load it into the core, stop it, redirect it, load it into the arm, stop it, redirect it, and eventually, if you do that enough, and you do it well enough, you throw fuego. One bank of lights is working. Oh, it's gonna be so sick in here when we get all these up. Okay, Sunday is time for a work around the facility and I gotta work out since I skipped yesterday. But first, we're gonna get an upgrade to my command system. We're gonna put some rope in the net for a strike zone, just so I have an idea of where my misses are when I tag them. What? <laughs> What do you guys see you got finished cutting? Yeah, whopping it up. So it'll be awesome. It's a nice clean edge. It's looking good, looking good, coming together. All right, let's weave this strike zone. Okay, first test with the Edgertronic and the new lights. So we got not all of them working, but we got one bank of them working, which should give us some light so we can test if we can get a higher f-stop on the camera, which means more focal distance, which means better footage, lower ISO, the whole, the whole deal. So we're gonna test that out. I'm gonna turn these lights on and see what kind of footage we get. Okay, so that's what we got now. Now we will have, a, we will have this light bank over the top for normal filming when it gets all wired up but these are the lights we got for today so we'll see what kind of uh we'll see what kind of uh results we get well we got 100 throws in for the night uh it's a lot i wasn't throwing very hard at all so not really a big deal but camera settings dialed in dialed in got the light as much dialed in as we could good night overall all right buster what's the technique to getting out oh you gotta lift you have to lift yourself up first because i always try to put my feet out first but in this car you have to hoist your butt up and your head out of the roof so that you can clear both feet and still stand up <laughs> 